And a warm welcome back. Well, today we start our special anniversary tournament to celebrate 25 years of wrestling on ITV. The man who has been at ringside from the very start and who is looking as young as ever is, of course, Kent Walton. Thank you very much indeed, Dickie, and hello, grappling fans everywhere. Yes, this is quite a special occasion here this afternoon at the Northgate Arena in Chester because it is 25 years ago since we were at West Ham Baths in London and uh, this week in November for the very first televised wrestling. We had a man on there, Bert Royal. You still see him in the rings today. I remember his, him very well indeed because he was 17 years old. I know that because it was my ninth birthday at the time, I think. <laughs> That makes him 34. Well, he does look young, doesn't he? Anyway, in those 25 years, we've had some marvellous grapplers, haven't we? We heard about Burt Royal, but we've had Billy Two Rivers, we've had Jackie Palo, George Kidd, and Ricky Starr. But today, at the start of this tournament, we have 16, or at least well, eight of them anyway. <clears throat> we have 16 on the whole tournament of the fastest and the fittest men in the ring. Now, we've got four first round bouts, and then we'll have two quarterfinals today. The first four round bouts will be six three minute rounds. Uh, we'll have two falls, two submissions, and the knockout to decide each of them. So, without further ado, let us reach on Kent Walton at the ringside for the first bout. Young David against Black Jack Mulligan. There was no score in the first round. We join it for the start of the second. Round two, five rounds to go, no score in this first heat for the anniversary cup between Jack Mulligan of Newcastle and Young David of Warrington. Young David in the light rustling gear. The wrong end of most of the moves so far. There he is. And Mulligan a bit late coming down with that jump cross press and the referee struts in on that one. And again, but this time David waiting for it. Nicely, nicely dodged. Yes, took him over his back beautifully. Going for the double leg again. Over the top and Mulligan coming straight out over the commentary table here, but just hang on to the middle rope. Check off the corner, posting and over the top of double leg Nelson. And a chance here for young David. Can he hold it? He can. Just one and a half minutes into round two, and it's young David with the first and fall over Mulligan. Your MC, of course, Brian Crabtree. And one minute, 30 seconds of round two. The first fall goes to young Dave Boy Smith. Second out, round three. Round three, four to go, and young David now leading. Young David in the light gear there facing us, leading Mulligan by one fall and out. Four more rounds to go, three minutes per round. See if uh, Mulligan can get back into this one. After leaving go, warned by Singh, the referee there. Patrol slam, followed down quickly, but not quick enough, was it? Yes, it was. That was allowed. Warned not to do it again. Mulligan seems to make making a habit of this follow down on the cross press very, very late after the move that got his man down in the first place. But then young David dodges it. Flyer, but it didn't work. It's a full Boston to Mulligan. And 
saw the really young David. He was looking for the double leg Nelson there, but didn't get it. Still the double knee hole by David. Didn't quite work for him. So Mulligan going for another slam. No! Hoping that Mulligan would come in there, but Mulligan didn't come far enough. Too smart for that, but it's still David going for a 2 0 win if he gets it. He's got it. 2 0 in just over two minutes of round three. David will win it. Young David over Mulligan by two falls to nil. In round three, the winner, Young David. Yes, victory then to young David. He goes forward to the quarterfinals, which we'll see a little later. Our second bout is between John Godelay Snailer and the evergreen Mick McManus. We join it at the start. Round one. Round one of six. Two falls to the second. Naylor doing one of his special tricks if he comes up with it. Oh, he doesn't. Didn't follow it through. Was hoping for a Naylor special there. Man is going right in. It's over the top, closing the throat. Lovely press. Beautiful knee. Double knee. Beautiful double knee by Naylor. And he gets the first ball very quickly indeed. And 30 seconds of round one. The first fall goes to the golden ace, John Naylor. John Naylor gets the first fall in 30 seconds, but Mick McManus very unhappy indeed. Beefing at everybody who listens, especially the referee and the MC. Seconds out, round two. Round two, and Naylor in the gold gear, boots and trunks and hair, leading McManus by one fall to nil at the start of round two. Nicely underneath him. Turn the hand into the finger interlock here. Naylor saw the advantage. One fall up already. A grin back on McManus's face now as he thinks he's got the upper hand, but I'm not so sure. How long for? Going in with those inside of the hand shops to the throat, then he can get him there. Dave Reese says that's enough for the moment. The man gets up, and Naylor replying with the same. Looked a little clenched fist there, and McManus certainly thinks so. Just in a minute now in round two. And you then must know how Mick McManus hates those, the treatment to his ears. And the punch gets him out of ear trouble, but in trouble with the ref. Nearly dropped in on our table, but not quite. 
Just 12 seconds to go in this second round. Double-handed wrist lever to McManus on the bell of round two. John Naylor of Wigan. One fall up already in the first round and only took him 30 seconds to get it. Giving away exactly a stone here to 12, uh, 12 stone 11 McManus. This is the boy, of course, who had 10 years in the unpaid ranks at Billy Riley's famous gymnasium in Wigan. No wonder he's good. Second out, round three. Round three, four rounds to go. And still Naylor in the old gold gear, leading McManus by one for the net. Public warning, McManus, for that. Been known twice. Public warning to McManus in round three. Being been warned twice for the same effects. This with that third one. A flying tackle, and it's Naylor going over the top. And what sort of a landing has he had? He cut the apron on the way. Now, it's just a question of how well he's landed. The referee doesn't like the look of it too much. And he's getting counted now. He'll have to come back in fast. Six, seven, and the MC out there with the second saying, no, Naylor won't get back. So it's McManus through in round three on a technical knockout, just one minute, 10 seconds into the third. And welcome back. Mick McManus then through to the quarterfinals with young David. And now let's move on to the third bout, a contest between Tally Ho Kay and the barefoot Pat Patton. There was no score in round one. Here's the start then now of round two. Round two and no score. Five to go. Kay in the white. Facing us now versus Pat Patton. Jeff Kay, the referee, Peter Kay, the wrestler, Tally O Kay, the wrestler. In the ring at the same time. A bit confusing. No, 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 no. 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 They have no relation to each other, of course, at all. So that's no. 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 Do it without touching no the ropes, count. and he did. Let him up. Come on, get on your feet, boy. Get on your feet. All this for an arm leader, and he wishes he hadn't got it now. He started it. Patton's coming back with a nice counter here through the legs. And into a stranglehold, headlock. Missed him on the way. Nice, Two, nice jump. Three, and it completed the somersault four, all right, but he's five, supposed six, to have taken K with him. Missed him, and therefore not going to the landing. K follows this up with more back weakness, three, naturally. Four, five. And a full Boston crowd. There it is. K and the first submission to K in round two.
and won in two minutes, 30 seconds of round two. The first submission goes to Talio K. Well, he got that, and it was a good boss to have got it. And the referee gives Talio K's first public warning. I don't know whether that was for dissent or following up too quickly on that. I honestly don't know, but whatever it is, he got his public warning at the same time as he did his submission. Round three. Round three, four to go. Patton, a bit worried his body's back now, naturally. He's taken a bit of a battering in this last, in round two before the submission. Finishing off with a full Boston, and K goes for a double arm now, trying for the possibility of the suplex right over the top. There it is. Tremendous power needed for that one. Again, Patton lands badly, but not on his back this time. It's the knee that's worrying him, I think. Double arm again, another suplex on. There it is, and the back this time might worry him. There are they! Okay, having it own, his own way at the moment. A little bear hug, but with the uh, arm locked in the back no. uh, Punch right to the stomach, and of course, blind side of the referee. Well, that's the uh, second or third time that Kay has forced Patton to land against the bottom rope at the back of his legs. Not helping him at all. Nicely if we can drag him over. Yes, the shoulder press is on. Equalizer in round three, and it took him just two minutes to get it. In two minutes of round three, the equalizing fall goes to Pat Patton. Well, Kay not very happy about that, but he. Patton came back very well with his back troubles there and really took K by surprise on that one. Took him right over the top for that far-reaching shoulder press. Second out, round four. And as we go ahead with round four, K's got to go ahead whether he's ready or not. The bell has gone. And Patton takes his uh, jacket, if that's the word, off for the second half of this back. One for each. Landed more or less, but not strongly enough. <laughs> Patton thinking of a Boston crab then couldn't get him over. And the leg spread, a fast one. He spotted it. The referee spotted it. Talib Hokey receives a second and final public warning. Control slam. And the follow down reverse double knee, and the pack could be in trouble here. He is. Kay, the winner. In just one and a half minutes, around four, with two public warnings against him, the unfortunate pattern goes down two to one. But it's Kay 
who joins the quarterfinals. 30 seconds of round four. The winner, Tally O.K. Tally O.K. then through to the next round. But our final first round contest brings you two very evenly matched men, black belt Chris Adams, brother of Neil, the Olympic judo silver medalist, and King Ben. There was no score in the first round. We joined it halfway through round two. Ben is only uh, 14 stone 2, just 7 or 8 pounds heavier than his opponent. He can't really try that this early. Flying tackle, Adams, but he's got caught with a crutch hole there and he could get the slam for it. No. Just going to lay him down to rest for a minute. So far, a very good sporting bot. Which can't be said for the other heats. We've seen a lot of them. Public warnings. Flowing free. Just a minute to go in round two. Yes, a typical Adam is going for a double monkey climb. Nice monkey climb it was, too. Got his feet well up there on the hips. Oh, oh if you want a mule kick, he said, I can do that, too. And he lays one right back on Ben there. <laughs> he says, all right, I'll give that one up. And he agreed to uh, lay off that particular move. For the moment, here. Ten seconds. Toe and ankle to Adams, going for a figure four leg lock, but he won't do him much good unless he's very quick indeed. He was fairly quick, and he got that uh, quick crash in, which couldn't have done Ben any good at all. Yes, he a very painful expression on his face as he gets up from there, and why not? Got full Chris Adams, 13 stone seven on him. King Ben from Keatley. And uh, he had a couple of years at the famous hilltop in Bradford before turning pro, 75. Seconds out, round three. Round three, four to go and no score in this fourth heat for the anniversary <laughs> cup between King Ben and Chris Adams. Single leg Boston to Ben very quickly indeed at the start of round three. But can't get anywhere with the submission, so releases. Tries it again and gets it again. Reaching for a spin out, Adams there, but didn't quite make it. Okay, ropes, ropes, ropes. Yeah. Way to climb up the ropes. Neat. The referee didn't seem to worry about illegal use of the ropes then. A very neat get out. Caught him with his instep on the way. Nicely timed. And a great arm roll there by Adams and another. Really warming now this bout. Yes, the mule kick got him, but still Chris Adams going for the crotch hole and slam. Followed down cross press, and he could have been in trouble. He's got him. The first fall in the third. And it just took him one minute, 25 seconds to get. Well, he's one fall up, which is, um, I wasn't too sure about that happening. But it worked. Ben, congratulations. And one minute, 25 seconds of round three. First fall of the contest goes to Chris Adams. Great. And popular first fall, Chris Adams. The very good looking lad. Everybody, all the ladies like him, especially around the packed crowd here. Seconds out, round four. Three rounds to go as we start round four. And Chris Adams oh. leading hey. King Ben by Two. one fall to nine. Oh. Hey. Six. Yeah. Yeah. 
back shot oh, by Ben two, there. Determined three, to get back into this very four, quickly. That's five, Ben standing with a light seven, yellow trunks on. Yeah. Oh, oh, flying putts. Five, Caught him. Caught three, him well, right in the stomach. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, That's Ben still going for the... Oh. Yes, dropped the slam came, but in a different way, and Ben goes over the top very quickly for a cross press, and he's got the equalizer in round four. And it just took Ben 40 seconds into round four to make it one each. And 40 seconds of round four. The equalizing fall goes to Chris Adams. Thank you, sir. Correction. Sorry about that, Ben. You weren't it. <laughs> Equalizing fall, ladies and gentlemen, the blue corner, King Ben. Well, King Ben putting Brian right, but a smile on his face is the same. He's quite happy about getting back into this bowl with two rounds to go. Seconds out, round five. Now then, one of these oh. men goes through to the oh. quarterfinals. Join young David McManus and Peter Kay from the previous heats, and one of them fails. It'll be rough on either of these men to fail on this shot. Both very even indeed. Nice double arm there by Adams. Reached beautifully for it. Possibility shoulder press. Now Ben getting his left shoulder off quite easily there when he wanted to. Holding oh. press, but Adams can get out of that any time. Went far too far over. And Ben knew it. Another big grin on his face. He, he realized he'd gone far too far then. Yeah. Oh. And he just shaved rather than the momentum that he meant. Body check. Oh. Yes. Adams can take it very well. That's a nice <laughs> This mule kick's coming thick and fast now. Ben going over the top again too far. man down but it's Ben that comes out with the advantage of the double handed wrist lever double knee reverse double knee no nope. trying a side folding press but it didn't work at all oh yes got himself quickly from that one monkey climb that didn't come off at all Oh, the double-handed shot five, right to Ben's two, stomach. Three, four, two, <laughs> five, well, he got two, too near. Three, four, the referee just five, wins and lets it go. Double-up suplex over five, the top. First press again. Adams takes over, but from behind, he can't get his man over. He goes for the figure four leg lock. That won't do him too much good from the point of view of a score but it just might hold him there to get a breather from him. Five, two. Yes the leg trip nicely. Grab the leg he's got 12 seconds exactly. He'll never get a submission from this in three seconds to go. Well, Ben lining up there for a side surfboard, trying to bring Chris Adams right back on top of his knees for a back-breaking surfboard, but it didn't work at all. I should think that Chris Adams very happy indeed about getting out of that, and the bell went just right for him. King Ben, on the other hand, a bit disappointed that he was a little late with the start of that move. But one round to go and one fall each. Anything can happen. Second out for the sixth and final round. Yes, it's been a good sporting bout all the way through this one. Hand-hand shake before the final round starts. 
Flying butt by Ben coming in really hard now. And Adams caught that not too well at all. Oh yes, nice switch over the top, cross press, quick. Not quick enough, and the feet of Ben were through the ropes anyway. Getting the butt to the stomach. High position strangle hold here from Ben. But all caught again in the same stranglehold. Couple of minutes to go in this final round now. Ben still with the advantage. Back over the stomach. Again, Ben catches him with that same stranglehold. So the double leg Nelson didn't really work because uh, his body's too far over to get any weight on it. Right, that's all. Applause for good sportsmanship. Major release when told to. Again, the stranglehold from the top. Back by Ben. Nicely dodged. And the foot came right up in the chin there. That one on the side of the ear. Head then. Uh, <laughs> Says, how many door do you want? Well, it's coming up towards the end of this uh, bout now, with only less than a minute to go. Chris Adams trying to make a score out of this quickly. It'll have to be very quick indeed. If there is a draw at the end of this, it's decided by a toss of a coin because there's no time to do anything else. One fall each at the moment, and a coin will decide if they don't get a score in this last 40 seconds. Press, cross, not quite accurately, over the face too much, not enough on the shoulders. 30 seconds to go. And it would be unlucky for the loser, especially if this was decided on the top of a coin, but that's the only thing that's got time for in this trophy tournament. Got possibility to bend, but not quite. 12 seconds, 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, it's got to be a draw. It is a draw. Too late. So I'm afraid it's a one for each draw. And it needed a toss of a coin, which Chris Adams won, a decision sportingly accepted by King Ben. So we have two quarterfinals, and we'll see those in just a couple of minutes. Welcome back to What a Sport. And now wrestling again at the first of our two quarterfinals, Young David against Tally Ho and with it a change of rules. The winner being the first man to put his opponent on his back ten times. So let's join Kent Walton for the start. Seconds out, commence wrestling. So Young David versus Peter Kay. Kay and the white jodkers. And uh, <laughs> Kay wants David to come to him. Don't know what he's arguing about. Yes, he wants to get... That's one. And you'll hear Brian Crabtree's voice calling out the points. Two to young David. Two nil to David. And the third. He only wants seven more. Very different style of wrestling here, of course. Just trying to get their man on the back. But don't have to hold him there. And four. So he's halfway there. No. 
One to K. Five one. One shoulder and slam. Two to K. Five two. Three to K. Five three. K taking over a bit now. Another four to K. Another crutch hold and slam. Five four to K. To David and it's five to and K. And that's it. K has caught up. Five each. David crossed his man back this time. Six to David. Six five to young David. Seven five to David. Seven to David. Eight five. And he's holding on to that double handed wrist lever. Eight five the store. K determined to stay on that bottom rope for the moment to get his breath back. Six to K. Eight six to K. Seven to K. Eight seven to David. Ay, 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 he's catching up again. Eight to K. Eight each. Eight nine takes over. To nine, K. eight, and he only wants one more. And David's gone yeah. down, and it's K. He missed time that drop kick. And it's David out. K is into the semi final. Tally Ho getting a, a tenderweight decision there and going through to the semi-finals. And to find out who will join him, let us return to the Northgate Arena in Chester for Chris Adams against Mick McManus. Second out, commence wrestling. And Jeff Kay, the referee, takes over. Two to Chris Adams. Chris Adams, two nil. Point to Matt Manus. One to Matt Manus. Two each. Two to Matt Manus. Two all. Three to Matt Manus. Three two to Matt Manus. Four to Matt Manus. Four two. Five to Five two. Six to that matter. Six two. Seven to that matter. Seven two. Oh dear. Eight no, to that matter. Eight two. No. Nine two. Nine to that matter. Can Chris Adams come back from a nine two deficit? <laughs> he will have to go some. All caught him beautifully. Three he went down as well. Nine four, nine five. five. To Adam. Six to Adam. Nine six. Nine seven. Seven to Adam. Nine eight. Eight to Adam. Now can he catch up to nine each here? Yes. The blue kick does it. Nine, nine each. To Adam. Now, the next one that matters, and it's the okay, K done it. He's done it. From 2 9 down, he gets 10 9. McManus is out, and Chris Adams is in the semi final along with Peter K, which we'll be seeing in a few couple of Saturdays' time. The winner, Chris Adams. And one for the loser, Mick McManus. Thank you, Brian. And with that win for uh, both Peter Kay and Chris Adams taking to the semi-finals in a couple of Saturdays' time, it's time to say goodbye from all of us here at Chester. Next Saturday, remember, the other four heats and another two quarter-finals. Till then, have a good week. Till next week.